Uh, my name is Corey Bird. Uh, I'm from Carnegie Mellon University on the Pittsburgh campus, and I'm the leader of the Pittsburgh side of an organization called Project Rwanda. Uh, it's a joint student initiative between Carnegie Mellon Pittsburgh, Carnegie Mellon Qatar, and Carnegie Mellon Africa. We work to promote ICT and uh, technological practices in Rwandan primary and secondary schools. So today, President Kagame uh, the Ministers of Education and the Minister of ICT was kind enough to offer their time and input um, on the vision of education in Rwanda and how organizations like Project Rwanda can align our efforts with their goals. Like myself, are actually planning on staying here and have a, have a lifetime here. I've actually recently brought my family here with me as well. So spending time here, working here, and developing my own business here, it's something that I wouldn't be able to do if this institution was not existing here in Rwanda. So uh, the technology field and the way he's developing it, even the way that he's working with uh, schools from elementary, for, uh, rural or urban, it's very inspiring. The, the story of Rwanda itself is very inspiring in terms of technology. A university like Carnegie Mellon is able to attract uh, students from all around, not just Africa, but the world. Uh, and give them a skill set that offers, uh, enables them to be a uh, viable option in the workforce uh, and obviously with that a certain subset of these trained individuals stay in Rwanda. For instance, we had uh, Bobson who opened his own company here and many individuals open their own businesses which then further uh, propagates those economic benefits. Because of my uh studies at CMU Africa, I was capable, along with uh, eight other students, to secure an internship in World Bank Group uh, in DC. Uh, it's a great opportunity for me, and that will allow me to actually sustain my family for quite some time. Not, uh, it will also further my own personal career as well. The thing is, uh, after my father's retirement, I had to become the, the main breadwinner uh, to the family. And my existence here has exposed me to so many opportunities that will allow me to do part-time job, online work, and all these other things to actually sustain my family. And the fact that my school equipped me enough to secure a job with such a global and international organization, is, it, it's a testament of how good uh, the, the education is that we're receiving is here.